Matthew chapter number 11, verses number 7, 8, and 9. And as they departed, Jesus began to say unto the multitudes concerning John, What went ye out into the wilderness to see? A reed shaken with the wind? But what went ye out for to see a man clothed in soft raiment, behold, they that wear soft clothing are in king's houses. But what went ye out to see? A prophet, yea, I say unto you, and more than a prophet. After John's disciples had left, Yeshua address the multitude as to who John really was. And he does something interesting here. You can see he asks the same question. Verse number seven, what went ye out in the wilderness to see? Verse eight, but what went ye out in the wilderness to see? And verse nine, but what went ye out for to see? A reed shaking in the wind. You know, there was all kind of reports probably about John at this time. Camel's hair as his clothing, living out there by itself. I'm sure he was called a hermit, among other things. So, did you go out to see a hermit? Or, did you go out to see someone dressed up in a nice custom-made suit fitting just right? Everything in place. Jesus went and told them, no, the, they that were those are in king's palaces. You see, John or Yochanan actually could have had that. We have to remember, he was the son of Zacharias. We remember the story that Zacharias was in the temple doing the priestly job at that time when the angel Gabriel came unto him. So, Zechariah was a priest of the sons of Levi. So, therefore, John was a Levite. In the priestly order, John obviously loved the Lord. He could have stayed in the system just like his father. And his father was considered a righteous man. And he could have one day maybe ministered at the temple. But he chose not to do that. He chose to follow what God had for him. I'm sure John was questioned by his relatives. Why are you going out there? How come you just can't preach at the temple? How come you just can't minister to people where you are? You know, all of these questions probably was proposed to John. John or Yochanan was much more concerned with doing the perfect will of the Father and wherever that would lead him to no matter what it cost he was going to tell the truth and Christ testified he was much more than a prophet what a testimony God we bless you and we praise you and we thank you and we give you all glory and honor and majesty thank God